So I'm just going to do a quick audio test on the fans. It's actually defaulted to auto low speed, whatever that means. There are actually four different options for your for your fan speed. Uh, the first one's called Stealth, which I don't know if it just disables. It, it, it's really um, really conservative with with the fan and just turns it on when it gets really hot. Not really sure. There's auto low speed, auto high speed, and then there's max fan. Max fan will let you hear what the fans actually sound like at full blast, and it doesn't get any louder than this. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a decibel meter, so I can't actually play. Um, I can't compare it to any actual decibel level. Uh, I will say, out of all the games I've played and all the tests I've ran, I've never actually had the fans go up to full speed on either auto high speed or auto low speed. So it's, it's never hit max. Now if you leave it at max, I mean everything should run, theoretically it should run at significantly cooler. Um, I'm at idle right now. And XTU is reporting about 47 degrees, 46 degrees Celsius. Now it's going up to 60, which is kind of weird. Now oh, back to 46. Uh, I think there might be an issue with the tool. Uh, but it is averaging about 46 at max speed. Leave it on auto low speed for the uh, for this actual test. I'm actually going to run Prime ninety five. I'm going to run Prime95 and Furmark to see current speeds. And temperature. Uh, for marks to be running at 1080p, it's 2x multi sampling and anti aliasing, so 2x MSAA. And with the CPU being stressed with Prime 95, it's going to take a little bit longer to open than normal. And it's going to take a little longer to load everything into VRAM, so in a few seconds the FPS should stabilize. There we go. So at uh, 1080p, 2x MSAA, we're looking at about, on average, using Furmark, it's usually anywhere between 41 to 42 frames per second. It did dip down, it's dipping down to about 30 frames per second. I'm not sure if that's due to the increased load on the CPU or not. So the, again, the CPU utilization, we're at 100%. Oops, did not mean to do that. I was just trying to move it over. So right now, the CPU, oops, CPU utilization is at 100%. CPU temperature is about 90, 90 Celsius right now, and it might still be rising. And again, the fans are not at full speed. Again, actually get louder than this. And should cool it better. The events coming out the bat do put out a great deal of heat, so it is, it is actually uh, cooling a lot better, in my opinion, than the Razor Blade ever did. 
So Prime 95 has been running for about three minutes. Firm Mark's been running for about two minutes. We are at 75 on the GPU, 89 to 90 on the CPU. Uh, that's actually a huge change from the 870 in the Razer Blade, which constantly ran around 90 Celsius on both. And I would think a little laptop cooler would probably cool this down quite significantly as well. Uh, GPU actually still raising. You know, raising and dropping. Still been below 80 Celsius this whole time. Usually after a few minutes, the temperature should just stabilize and continue to be under a certain temperature. Again, this is stock, no repasting. All stock uh, thermal compound. Go ahead and let the test run until five minutes is up. We're at about three minutes forty seconds now. Oh, there also seems to be some bug either with GPU Z or Afterburner, both for Mark as well, but nothing ever actually shows the GPU running at its normal clock speed, which I think is 940 megahertz or 950 megahertz, somewhere in there. Uh, I've seen it start as high as around 870 or so megahertz, but I've never actually seen it above that, which is really odd. So I don't know if everything's just reporting the speeds wrong or, or what's going on there. So CPU. CPU is actually running 90 Celsius and the processor frequency dropped down to 1.67 gigahertz which is kind of odd, I don't know what the deal is there looks like it just slowly decreased Yeah, it's just been slowly decreasing and since it started. Temperature is not went above 90, uh, 90 though, as far as I know, it's actually been the highest. Yep, 90 looks like it's the highest on the CPU side. GPU's highest is 82. Switch just to auto high speed and see what changes. And I did let it go up a couple notches.
uh, high speed doesn't really seem to be uh, affecting temperatures much, at least on the GPU side. CPU either, it's still about 90 Celsius. And then I'm going to go to max pan. It's definitely I'm putting some heat in there. GPU steadily dropping. It went from about 81 down to 79. CPU has not changed. Uh, the Furmark FPS is about 45 right now. According to the min, uh, min, max, and average, average has been about 40. So that concludes the Furmark test, as well as XTU.